this third degree burn on the 60, uh, 64 third degree burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chaos searing Lord, Lord of Flames. Keep fighting the chaos that lives inside me Trying to hold down the beast But it's hard to do that Because everybody angers me And triggers it I live in this world this uh, Kansas City uh, city. Oh, we got some spoilers That we're going to be discussing For the Final Fantasy TCG Or, or should I say um, Opus 6 stuff That's kind of been spoiled on this the Final Fantasy trading card game page on Facebook, which is, um, if you're you live in Kansas, um, go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and sponsor this page. Uh, go follow the Final Fantasy TCG Kansas City if you're either a Kansas native. Well, you can't, you could can do it if you're not, but, you know, these are for Kansas-based play Final Fantasy trading card game players. So, let's go ahead and start with the first spoiler. My favorite one already, Emina. Now, unlike the other Emina, which, you know, the other Emina, I mean, Emina, so I don't want to, you know, get it mixed up, because, yeah, but you get the point. This one, this is not like the Type Zero, type O one, where you have to have a Type O deck or a Cadet deck to run her in, or at least be able to run her with a partner. This one, you don't have to do it, and she costs two. So, it's good if you run any kind of ice stuff, because, you know, any ice stuff is about drawing your most powerful cards. Whether you run an 8, a known Final Fantasy 8 uh, ice category, or any other kind of ice, such as my brother's deck. My brother's deck is pretty much the dark version of uh, Angel and Zack deck, pretty much. So, I want to draw into my brother's, which is Weiss the Accumulate, Immaculate. No, sorry, Weiss the Immaculate, Weiss, I don't care how you pronounce it, don't, you know, don't even get me started on that. But Weiss the Immaculate and Nero, I want to get into my brothers, that's why it's called the Brothers deck, and I got three of them already. Now, I want to draw into them, and I do have cards such as Jill and the Bot that freezes things up, and I got me, um, some other stuff and Bobbises and stuff like that to, to, so I could freeze my opponents and make it so they can't, if they have to pay to attack, which will cost them too much, so I can just, you know, get into it, you know, to draw cards and draw backups, so I can just easily summon them and hit the field, which ice decks in Final Fantasy in general are like the fastest archetype, but anyways, I have to say, this is one of the cards I need in this one, because when M and, uh, I mean, M I just want to make sure I get that one right, because you know, you know, enters the field, choose one forward, opponent controls, freeze it, and that's, and, that, and, and that's not even action ability, that's not a cost ability at all, but she's two, so it'd be beneficial to run her in my deck, now, I don't know if Final Fantasy has any, you know, I mean, I know, that, I know they don't have, like, how Yu-Gi-Oh has Exodia, where you can get automatically victory, but, it's kind of like running an Exodia deck for Final Fantasy because you're pretty much stalling until you get your ice forwards. Whether you run an 8, whether you run one of the Brothers, or whether you run just a basic ice deck or this and that. You know, there's so many combinations. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is a card I would need because I could stall. I could stall. Like, for real. I could just sit there, if, you know, if I put three of these in here, and they're only a two cost, and they're backups, I could just keep putting these things, I, I keep putting these down, and, well, actually, well, I can't keep, you know, I don't have the multiple things, sorry, I just didn't even see that right there, you know, I think I might have diabetes, <laughs> just can't say it's a joke, but no, I could cut back on a little bit of sugar, but that's not the point, the point is, this is actually a wonderful card. It costs two. She's a wonderful backup because you don't have to have no type O cards. And with this and a Jill Nabot and all the stuff I have in my brother's deck, I could just keep freezing and and making it so it'd be hard for them to attack. So I can keep stalling it to draw the brothers. 
And that, I mean, that deck needs stall cards in there. So let's get to the next one. Milfina. Oh, that cost, man. You're killing me. You are killing me with that cost. So she costs six to use. She's an earth, but when Mil Milfina enters the field, choose up to two characters in your break zone. Add them to your hand. I mean, okay, put Milfina into the break zone. Choose one light and dark character and break it. Okay, it's good to break it light and dark characters. This would be good for an Emperor, but, you know, then again, Emperor cancels out abilities. I um, mean, but for a backup, bruh. Bruh, the cost. Don't get me wrong, I like the whole, you can add two characters, and I do need cards to bring Vincent back from the from the break zone, you know, but that's why I run multiples of different versions of the character, because you can run multiple different versions as long as there's three different versions, you know, because they have the different barcode on the bottom, and I do, but I, I'm pretty sure there's cards that bring back Vincent from the break zone, or at least they'll come out with such such things so I don't really need it but for collection purposes and for people who want to run her in their deck and if she gets like for people who play Final Fantasy 14 decks I think this would be good so I'm probably just having a collection it'd be sitting in the binder I mean I, just because the art's pretty and it's a pretty blonde woman so they'd just be doing that it's, it's not it's not put it it's not going on my deck it's, it's too it's too high of a cost materia um, finally, that's all I gotta say, finally for Materia. Um, Materia could be played on the field, even if you control other light characters, you could play two more light characters on the, oh, this is like the chaos I have. When light, well, wait, no, wait, <laughs> when Materia enters the field, you may search for one light forward and add it to your hand. So, not only are you could put another light forward in your hand, you know, which, like, if you have the cloud I have, like the new one, the, you know, the hero one I got, you know, for my boy trailer, that I use in my Vincent deck, this would be good for it, this, and I can only, and I can play two or more light onto the, oh, you can play two more on the field? With no cost, looks like it, okay, I, I, I can get down with this material, I can get down with this, I was gonna give me a Cosmos, but, you know, and besides, I like Materia better than I do Cosmos anyway, so that's just, that's just me. I, I have a favor, but she does good shit. She does good stuff. I wonder if they're going to come out the Spiritist, but this is only a few of the spoilers. So, oh, we got Choco, Mog, Mobius, Final Fantasy VII. Which, Mobius is the PC game where you had to go back and help all the Final Fantasy heroes defeat their villains, or repair the timelines. If uh, you know, but search for one class, uh, job chocobo or job moogle at your hand. So, if you have a chocobo or a moogle, this would be perfect for those decks. If you're running those type of decks, this would be perfect. And it's only a one cost, so that's pretty good. I'm not really making a chocobo deck, but I wouldn't mind hat. I mean, I wouldn't mind having one in the collection, it's like you know, it's useful. But pretty much that's kind of it for the spoilers I've got so far for Opia 6. Again, just I'm going to be going to the draft. So, you know. And don't forget to like Final Fantasy, TCG, Kansas City. And may the crystal be with you.